Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sierra, if you didn't already know. So today I wanted to talk about a subject that has been in my mind recently with dating and with guys and you know, it's not exactly the funnest thing in the world and you know, sometimes I think to myself, why don't I just date a trans guy? So yeah, that's the topic today. Would I date a trans guy? And the answer is yes. Um, I would absolutely love to date a trans guy. First of all, I just wanna let you know that the first guy that I actually dated was a trans guy. Um, we met online and his name is Riley. So hi Riley, if you're watching this. Um, and it was a good experience. Um, we understood each other and it was pretty great. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it and it's gonna be 10 reasons why I would date a trans guy. Okay, so number one, honestly, at this point in my life and just with everything that I've experienced being a trans woman and dating cisgendered men, I honestly just feel like it would be so much easier to date a trans guy just because they would already understand me in my situation. I just feel like at the end of the day, trans men would understand me easier because we've been through the same situation. Trans men will understand me at the very beginning and I wouldn't have to explain myself. And I just want someone that accepts me completely for who I am. Secondly, I feel like I wouldn't have to answer those same questions that I have to answer with cisgender men. Like, have you had the surgery? Or like, how did I know that I was transgender? With a transgender man, he will already know why I felt the way that I felt my entire life. And I feel like with a trans man, he won't ask so many questions because he's either going through or has already been through a similar situation as mine. Number three, I honestly feel like trans men are more likely to be in touch with their emotions than cisgender men um, just because they are more likely to have grown up in an environment where they were able to express themselves and um, are able to be themselves and show their emotions easier, I guess. Um, I feel like with cisgendered men, most boys grow up being taught that they're not allowed to express their emotions. So I feel like that's a big reason why men today are so less likely to be open with their emotions and feelings because they've grown up being told that they couldn't express themselves. And with transgender men, they grew up in an opposite way and were kind of allowed to express their emotions even though they weren't being themselves completely. I feel like they were more likely to be able to express themselves. And I just believe that trans men are more likely to be able to be there for us more emotionally and when we're upset or when we need someone because they'll understand emotions and they'll understand how to deal with feelings and a lot of cisgendered men have a harder time with that okay so number four is a big one so i feel like with a transgender man if his family accepts him then they are more likely to accept a transgender woman like myself and I just feel like getting to know the family would be so much easier on me because I won't feel so much of a black sheep and I wouldn't feel ostracized or any different than anyone else. I would feel accepted because they've already experienced the same situation with him. They'll be more accepting of me. So I just feel like that would be an amazing experience for me as well. Rather than being with a cisgender man and their family not being as educated as a transgender man's family would be. And number five is somewhat of the same thing. A transgender man's friends would already be accepting of him, so they are more likely to be accepting of me. So getting to know his friends would be so much easier and they would already understand it pretty much. It's just the exact opposite thing. So yeah, like friends and family, it would just make things so much easier and honestly it would just it would be awesome we would understand each other so much better and understand the pain that each one of us has gone through and be able to be there for one another and comfort one another so much 
better than anyone that hasn't gone through this. And I just feel like there would be a much deeper connection than a cisgendered person would be able to give us. It's just knowing that like that person has gone through the same situation as you have and you just don't feel judged and you don't feel misunderstood. You just know that they understand you because they've been through the same situation. And I honestly can't even think of a better scenario. Have someone that completely understands me and already understands the situation I've been through. And honestly, it would be kind of cool to like talk about it and talk about our experiences. Be like, yeah, I've been through this situation and then you know, we could kind of laugh about it and be like, oh my God, we literally went through the exact opposite situation. And it's like, we just relate on that level. Actually, that was number seven. So I forgot to say that. Number eight, I honestly feel like intimacy would be so much better with a trans man. I just feel like with a trans man, we would already be more accepting of each other's um, situations and we will be more careful to make each other comfortable. And I also feel like we are more likely to have a more emotional connection with each other and make that experience that much more special. And number nine, on a daily basis, I feel like we would understand each other's situation of what we go through on a daily basis as far as hormones and different things. And I also feel like if we are ever in a situation where we are dealing with something um, regarded to being transgender, we would be able to help each other a lot better and understand what to say and how to make each other feel better. And number 10, I believe that trans men are more likely to be better communicators. I believe that they are more emotionally intuitive and understand how to communicate better with us and to be able to make us feel special and really understand how we feel. And communication is such a big thing to me and that's such a hard thing to find and people today and I just feel like a lot of cisgender men have a harder time communicating with us and especially me being a transgender woman I believe that a trans man will understand me so much better and I believe that a trans man will be able to communicate with me in a way that I really need all in all I believe that dating a trans man would be a wonderful experience and I believe that we would understand each other so much better and be able to be there for each other in the ways that we really need. And I'm not saying dating a cisgendered man is out of the question. I'm just giving reasons why dating a trans man would be easier in some ways for me being a transgender woman. And I just believe that it would make certain situations much easier for me and for any other transgender woman out there. But at the end of the day, we are all different and we all have different personalities and there's pros and cons to each one of us. I believe there are good men out there regardless of their transgender or cisgendered. But this is just my perspective based on my experiences. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video was helpful in some type of way. I am glad that I could talk about this subject because it's something that I've been wanting to talk about for so long. I've honestly been really wanting to talk about it because I've just been wondering like, what would it be like to date a transgender man now in my life and now that I've been through everything that I've been through because beforehand you know I hadn't had my surgery and I was at the very beginning of my transition and now that I've completely gone through everything and I don't really deal with as much as I used to I feel like life is a lot easier and it would be easier to date a transgender guy so if you're out there and you're a transgender man that is interested in dating a transgender woman then hi <laughs> But yeah, I just think it would be a cool experience. I just feel like we would learn a lot from each other. And that's really what a relationship is about, is being there for each other and making each other happy and just learning from each other. And at the end of the day, that is what a relationship is about, is making each other's lives better. So I hope you all are doing well. Um, I actually just moved into my new house with my friends. Um, it's been a struggle like moving and stuff because this is like the fourth time that I've moved in the past two or three years. But I'm really happy about the move and I'm really happy with where I am. I have a much bigger space where I can film and really be able to film at any time. Literally right now it's like three o'clock in the, is it three o'clock? It's like almost three o'clock in the morning and I know that sounds crazy but I'm just a night owl and I just love to stay up all night. I waitress so I'm pretty much up. Um, till like one o'clock two o'clock in the morning anyway. I just hope all of you are doing well I hope life is treating you well And I hope positive things are happening in your life and if not and you're surrounded around negativity 
just make sure that you find that positive light inside of yourself and just tell yourself that it's going to get better because life does get better. You might be going through a lot right now, but at the end of the day, if you just push yourself and you constantly say that you're going to get somewhere in life and you continue to push forward, then you will get there. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe down below and hit that bell notification for our regular uploads. Um, I'm going to try to start uploading at least maybe once every two weeks, maybe more, but just as much as I work right now, it's really hard for me, but I'm gonna try to upload as much as I possibly can because I absolutely love talking to you guys and I love making content and doing something that I feel like really makes a difference in the world. And I don't know, it's just nice to connect with people. I love you guys so much and I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And until next time, be the feast.